on this episode of Imagine, Create, Inspire. I, I really like that rendition of Picasso. That's really good. And this is a, a, a young girl that uh, he took, introduced her to another artist, and uh, the artist looked at him and said, when I see that girl, I think of blue. So he did that portrait of her mostly in blue. <laughs> He was quite the player, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yeah, so. <laughs> he was a womanizer all yeah. the way till 92 years old. You are listening to Imagine, Create, Inspire, the podcast. Join host Bruce Andrews in conversations with creatives. Every artist has a story and the struggle is real to stay inspired and in the flow. Join in the conversation by leaving us your comments and thanks for listening. Hey, y'all, welcome back to the podcast, Imagine, Create, Inspire. That's three words in a very deliberate, sequential order. Imagination leads to creation. Creation leads to inspiration. And inspiration, when you properly apply it, produces hope. And hope is a commodity. Hope is fuel for the human soul. So we are always looking for imaginative process. Imaginative, imaginative easy for me to say, people. And, and I'm here in Maylene, Alabama with Lonnie Mass, artist Lonnie Mass. Hey, Lonnie. What's up, man? So, yeah, good. so how? So let's start here, man. We're we're in that, we're in front of your tree house. Is this a place you hang out? Only when I want to get it out of the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's my dog house too. It's magnificent, man. It's a. Uh, so you got into art. You had a twin brother. Yes, uh, he was the artist. Yeah. Uh, I was jealous of him because. He got all the attention in the family. He was doing art from the time he was four years old. He was making up comic books and stuff. And then he went to art school in Jim Redfield's art school in Birmingham. You've probably heard of Jim I've Redfield. I've heard of it, but man, that, that's an that's a, that's a archaic reference for some people. Yeah. What was up with that? Well, did Back you... in the 60s when we graduated from high school, he, he uh, enrolled at Jim Redfield's art school. You know, he, uh, Jim Redfield, uh, his son wrote a book, uh, and he became famous for that. It was some kind of, uh, religious book. Oh, was that, um, was that the, uh, Celestine Prophecy? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah. glad you remembered that. Yeah, and so he's, a, a lot of people don't know that, that fellow lives in, in Alabaster. Yeah, anyway, my brother yeah. went to his daddy's art school. Yeah, I'll be dog. And you know, I don't think I knew that connection between the the school. Yeah, it's and, a, it's down in Saginaw. Yeah. That's no, pretty. the school was actually on South Side, uh, next to Five Points. So now, was, so your brother inspired you, but basically your your technique and everything is self taught. He taught me everything I know, and I still don't know nothing. He taught you everything you know, yeah. and still don't know nothing. Right. That's the way to be, man. Yeah, see, I worked for him. He had a sign company here in Shelby County, and uh, I worked for him for 20 years. And he tried to teach me how to paint signs, but I wasn't very good at it. But he was very patient with me because I was his brother, and I helped out a lot around the shop and so forth. But I picked up a lot of art stuff. He was always doing work on the side, you yeah. know, painting murals and stuff he he painted a big mural down at uh, sloth's furnace back when they were trying to advertise their warehouse business right painted a huge mural you could see it off the viaduct it was a what was the subject matter what it was like uh, there were two separate ones one on one side of the warehouse and one on the other one was about uh, the uh the union Look for the union label. I believe I remember it. that. Yeah. My brother painted that single-handedly shortly after having uh, uh, hernia surgery. He was hurting and he had to rent this forklift thing. And, yeah. And he was working on that. I was trying to help him all I could, but he was just, he was obsessed. He was going to get that job done. He was. He, so he's not around anymore. No, uh. He died in, uh, he died 12 years ago. Man, you hey, miss him, don't I miss him so much that I'm trying to channel him 
Now, you know, I'm, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I'm trying to keep his his dream alive, his yeah, heart alive. That's a driving force. Yeah. Everybody needs a driving force. Yeah, that's yeah. the inspiration. That's right. It starts backwards. That's, what, that's the way to look at it, man. Yeah. That's what gets you up, gets you going. That inspired me. Makes you want to pick up a brush or whatever. Yeah. So so let's start here, man, because, I mean, here's, here's, the, here's the thing about Lonnie, y'all. I mean, a lot of people ask me, how do I get into a gallery? How do I get um, to the next level? Well, maybe you just need to construct your own gallery. You know what I mean? And, uh, and that's what uh, you have done in so many different ways. But this here we're looking at is the, is the tree house. Yeah, that was Ronnie's joke. He'd call up radio stations and say, my name is, uh, uh, what did he call himself? Ronnie Reindeer. He didn't <laughs> call himself Ronnie Mass. He said, my name's Ronnie Reindeer and I live in a tree house. He never lived in a treehouse. He was just making that up. <laughs> it's good radio. Yeah. Yeah. Good radio. T- tell me about some of the pieces, man. Just just uh, just randomly pick one. Tell me tell me what your inspiration was. Well, there's my uh, youngest grandson, Alex. He just graduated from UAB, and he he got him a excellent job. For an accounting firm, and he starts in a couple of weeks. He's 22 years old. That's awesome. That's a, a, So is that your oldest grandson? That's my attempt at a uh, caricature, which my brother did well. He'd go into a bar, pick out some girl, and do a caricature of her, and people would buy him drinks, you know. <laughs> that was his way of picking up chicks. Yeah. So yeah. I was, you know. I was, <laughs> Trying to channel some of his uh, ability to do caricatures. Yeah, man. Well, you and did. I thought I love that style. Well, he doesn't. My grandson thinks it's awful. <laughs> doesn't look. Doesn't look like me at all. He's not complimented by it. No, but that's all right. He's that's, not. That's com- what they said about Ronnie, you know. So a lot of times people, um, you know, will uh, will channel artists, and therefore maybe they attempt to copy art, great artists, to to try to gain some knowledge of what that artist is all about. I yeah, see you got got I, one by Paul Clay here that yeah, you painted. That's the only one I've done by him, but I'm into Picasso now, and they're all over the place. Well, walk us through some Wait Picasso, you man. see some uh, Picasso. I'm so proud of him. All right. Come on. This one here is called The Dance. Oh, man. That is that is awesome. Uh, I gave him a, my first rendition of that. I gave uh, my buddy here uh, my first rendition of that, my neighbor. Now that now now you um so when you do, um, and he said, uh, why are you giving it to me? It's so good. And I said, I can do another one. <laughs> so that's the second one. Looks like when you dip into this, you don't you don't. Uh, I mean, you you like to work with found objects, right? I mean, you don't go to the store and buy canvas and. No, I just you know. uh, throw it all together. What's that painted on? That's painted on a uh, coral plast. It's a uh, sign material that they use for uh, political signs and so forth. Okay. Like a like a a, a, a foam board like a or a plastic board. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's great. So you just painted that with, out with acrylics. Yeah. Yeah. And so it just stays out here in the weather. It doesn't. Yeah. We were uh, outdoor sign painters, so we know how to do outdoor. That's stuff. another thing about your gallery. It don't. No. And you're not worried about the humidity. This is all Picasso. I did that for Halloween because I've been feeding my neighbor's cat for three weeks. And uh, they said, "Are you? do you have enough food? And I said, I only feed them once a day. And they said, why? And I said, because cats will go out and get anything. They'll kill a bird. They'll kill a yeah. groundhog, whatever, you know. Yeah, that's what, so, uh, what was it, uh, Jim Stafford? Do you remember that singer-songwriter? He did uh, Spiders and Snakes and stuff. He always said, the cats were like, uh, what do you say? I think Butch and I shared this. Cats were like Baptists. They're out, you know, they're out there raising hell. You just can't catch them. Yeah. <laughs> they don't want to yeah. be caught. Yeah. But these are two of uh, Picasso's girlfriends. Uh, France, Francios, I believe is the way you pronounce that name on the left. You learn anything by painting? I mean, you, you feel like you learn anything about the, the artiste and his... Uh, well, you ways. know, uh, imagine, create, inspire. I get inspired by what I do, and then suddenly I want to do something on my own. I love that. Uh, so, but Picasso, 
I mean, Picasso to me is easy because it fits my style. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Inspires just the you. The flow. I don't like a lot of detail. Not to be done with it. I don't like, like you're like an immediacy guy. Yeah. If it takes me more than 45 minutes, I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> you're on to the next thing. Yeah. So you know, staying. You've got a short attention span. You know, uh, you and I are obviously older than uh, 25, and so uh, you know, staying curious about things is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're always curious about the next creative adventure. So it's, even for, like for you, it don't need to last more than 45 minutes. 45 minutes is all I'm good for. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. What, let's go down here and look at this. Now, Picasso did some sculpture stuff, and he was the first one who came up with this invention. Since he was from Spain, he, of course, was into bullfighting, and he came up with this sculpture made out of a bicycle seat and, and this was supposed to be handlebars off of a bicycle but i didn't fool with I that it, i just bent a piece of aluminum I, I really like that rendition of picasso that's really good yeah this is a, a self-portrait which i i like a lot because it it really captures i like the it. i like the negative space you just dealt with down there with the yeah. that open frame that's good stuff man good choice <laughs> well it's a frame i happen to have <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it, the heck with it, if it fits or not. Yeah. Just make it make it work. I'll make it work. It works, man. And this is a a, a young girl that uh, he took introduced her to another artist, and uh, the artist looked at him and said, "When I see that girl, I think of blue." So he did that portrait of her, mostly in blue. <laughs> he was quite the player, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Yeah. You know? Picasso. He was a womanizer all yeah. the way till 92 years old. Yeah. yeah he's a, he, read, he, he was the original Energizer Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> In some ways. More ways than one, maybe. Yeah, man, walk us through some more stuff. This is, this is amazing. Well, uh, my Halloween decorations down here include a Picasso also. The big head there, he called it head. That's how he named it. I just put a. Uh, you put that big T up there to make people there. mad. After we got beat by <laughs> Alabama, pissed me off. So right. I said, All right, that, that's a horror thing, you know. <laughs> to see the big T is horror. <laughs> Fifty-two to forty-nine yeah. or whatever. Well, that's a horror scene, isn't it? Yeah, that was just the the kick. That that might be the takeaway from the whole thing. That just kicked me right there. Yeah, it kicked you, kicked you right now where I went it hurt. to bed. I turned the TV off as soon as the kick was uh, deemed uh, good. I turned the TV off and went to bed, but I couldn't sleep for four hours. So you had to get up and paint a big orange too. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, damn it, that's going to be my next Halloween decoration. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody's a Vols fan, just uh, you're a part of this uh, horror horror scene for all you're of right. us. Yeah. Well, <laughs> roll tight. Well, we still got a chance. Come on, man. We still got yeah, a chance. We do. So when did you, when did you, when were you sitting around and said, I was going to, I'm going to put the first piece of art in my yard. How long ago was that? I mean, like you just start Shortly to, after my brother died. Ah, I see. That's a good way to channel him. Yeah. I would be thinking of him and I'd do something and then I'd just put it out in the yard. And that, that was uh, 12 years ago. I've been doing it ever since. I love it, man. What a great, what a great uh, way to carry somebody on. Yeah, I always think of him. Never stop thinking of my brother. So we all tight growing up? Did oh, everything together? No, we hated each other. <laughs> <laughs> we were jealous of each other. That's hilarious. But we got closer later. I got a little shrine to the Ukraine over there. Yeah, yeah, that's my yeah. political statement. I like it. I love this line up here, man. That is super. Yeah, the one I'm proudest of here is the uh, the fish. Red fish. It's made out of a... I saw uh, one like that down in a restaurant in uh, Panama City. And uh, the tail is a uh, rake, you know. Yeah, that, that is super cool. I love that piece. 
Man, people people find out about this. You're gonna be uh, be famous here. My yeah. my brother, uh, one of the first things he did in Jim Redfield's art school was a uh, picture of our farm. We lived down in Pelham, where the uh, you know where the tanks are now. I do. We had that property. Oh, Fifty two. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was our place where where we where we grew up in Pelham. That's so cool. That's the road leading into the house on the left and the barn on the right. And uh, he did that in just a small watercolor. And since he taught me how to be a billboard painter, I made it big. Yeah, right on, man. Yeah, I just blew it up for Kinda him. Kind of looks like it's the extension of the landscape we're in now since it fall, you know, and yeah. all the leaves are turning. Yeah, it fits right in. So tell me about the the, uh, the the temple you got constructed back here. You got a Corinthian tops and, and all kind of cool. That's my second happening. dog house when I'm afraid of heights. So you, you exile yourself to the cave. Get tipsy, I stay on the ground and go in my second dog house. I like it. Got to play. That's where I produce all the art. Though. Oh, is it? So yeah. this is your studio. So this, yeah, you could call that in a fancy word. Let's check it out. A studio. Oh man. A copy of. Uh, um, Monet star, I mean uh, Van Gogh starry night. Starry night. Yeah. yeah. Don't get out here and cut off your ear. Never even had a thought of it. Well, good. But I said everything. This is me. awesome, man. Got my music to keep me inspired. What kind of music tunes you like to listen to? Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Little... Scott Joplin. Yeah. That is awesome, dude. I'm getting inspired just listening to it. I got a piano in the house. Yeah. But I never learned how to play it. Man, you come up to Arts Council, we'll teach you how to play. All right. Yeah. I can see where you're coming from, man. Yeah, little Scott Joplin rag happening there. Yeah. Yeah. And this is super cool, though. Now, so, so tell me about. Uh, you 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 built this? Yeah. So you just uh, I mean just you go hunt the scrap or was it already around or? No, there was a guy that had a uh, back in the day. He had one of those. Uh, uh, what do you call them? Where you rent a spot and uh, you can put your stuff in there. Like those uh, those warehouses. Those uh, those rentable warehouses was that was that it? Yeah, he, he yeah. rented one and he he was in business, but he didn't tell the guy. He just said, "I want to rent the place," and he started buying up wood, and he he was buying poplar, and that's what all this is made of. Cool. His first sale out of that uh, storage. That's the word I was trying to think. Yeah. Of, storage building. Yeah. God, they're popular. Well, because people in business use them. Hmm. Without you know having to pay the yeah, business right. license, they put their stuff in I'm there. I'm talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. But you know I, that was uh, shortly after I bought the place, 40 years ago. Uh, I, I looked up in the paper and it said wood for sale, so I went over. Sure enough, I bought all that wood from him. That's amazing, man. It's popular and it's just lasted forever. So, uh, you know, a lot of people that uh, are the people that will watch this um, are normally artists. You know, or a lot of them will be artists or aspiring artists or are part of our community of artists. And uh, so uh, you already told them what inspires you. I appreciate that, what drives you. Everybody needs something to drive them. You know, you need a reason to get up and get after it, whatever you're doing. And you need a reason to be creative and not the opposite. You know, I always say the opposite of, imagina of imagination might be stagnation. You know, it's just like stagnant thoughts and you're obviously a moving moving forward imaginative kind of guy so uh, uh do, do you do you uh, do you paint every day no yeah you just wait till it hits you yeah yeah i have to be moved by something <laughs> i have to be inspired so when you're when you're not you you just uh I have take, 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 take a do. walk you know what to, you do. yeah i have to take a walk or rake leaves or mow the lawn or yeah something get moving yeah and then all of a sudden just comes on yeah 
Yeah, that's amazing, man. Would you, would you have anything to say to somebody that thinks they're not a creative? Because I believe everybody's got some creative content. In well, it. that's what I thought, you know. Yeah, I mean, so you did. my brother died, and then I said, well, maybe I've got it too. <laughs> but, you know, hell, I was, I was old. But it's never too old. Look at uh, Mother, what was it? The name of that artist that Mother, what was her name? Oh, you got me. You caught me flat. Grandma forward. Moses. Grandma Moses. Yeah. yeah. She didn't start till she was old. Right. And then you got people like your your uh, mentor, Picasso. who And who, O'Keefe. Uh, there's, there's another, another one. one. Yeah. Moved out to Mexico. And big flowers. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, man. Well, I think you're doing good work out here, and I appreciate you letting us visit you, brother. Yeah. Connect with your creative. He's looking down on us right now going, way to go, bro. Well, that's what I think. You know, I mean, uh, uh, you know, um, my favorite Bible verse is, is, a, is about faith. You know, faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you paint it out sometimes, you just kind of, Trying to get a little preview, of what what it, what it might be like, you know. What it feels like to create. That's right. To be God. Yeah, I mean, it just to feel it, like God anyway. Well, I mean, or or feel, you feel His presence. Yeah. Yeah, you feel you feel connected. Yeah. As opposed to you know, wallowing around in our you know in the in the situation we all find ourselves in called life. You know, it's like that. But moving moving forward, being creative is a it's a gift, man. It's a gift. I appreciate you. I mean, you're doing it at a high level, bro. All right, thanks. You, you got your own, you got your own gallery. All right. Yeah. And so, so anyway, appreciate you, man. Oh. No, no. Full <laughs> <Roll> tie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way to end it. That's right, man. Thanks for listening to Imagine, Create, Inspire, the podcast. For more information on the Shelby County Arts Council, please visit www.shelbycountyartscouncil.com. Thank you.